<laughs> do, do you think it's really live at this point? I don't think it is yet. Uh, I do because I see it. Oh, yeah? How about that? <laughs> <laughs> on the internet. Well, welcome to the show. Here we are. We are live. Are you a little scared about being live? A little bit. I don't. It's not like my comfort zone for sure. So, <laughs> with a face like that, it wouldn't be mine either. Yeah, um, we'll probably just make this an audio presentation. But so, our first episode, really, and so we had talked about doing a manifest Monday. We're always going to do some every letter of the week. We're just going to kind of use something like Flex Friday or something like that. And today we talked about doing manifest Monday. Correct. That's right. Yes. I'm throwing a little monkey monkey wrench money. I'm throwing a little, I'm throwing a little monkey wrench into it. So I, I'm going to use three M's today. I'm going with uh, Metallica, Mistake, and Manifest Monday. And I'm going to kind of roll them into one, into one thing. You go ahead. I can't wait to hear about the mistake. <laughs> well, so as I bragged about on our show on Friday, I bragged about how I was going to Metallica. It was an accident. I didn't mean to brag about it. Okay. So I go to Metallica. Great night. One of my buddies from Chicago, my best friend from uh, one of my fraternity brothers, he comes into town from Chicago. Big group. We take a bus and everything. Well, I have to work the next morning or have a workout the next morning. Okay. Saturday morning at 9 a.m. And this doesn't happen, Nick, but I overslept <laughs> and I missed the workout. Missed it. Workout with somebody? No, well, <laughs> with about 150 people is who it was oh, with. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Long story short, because of some great people, the show still went on, but it went on without me, which isn't nearly the same as you would know. But sure. So sure. I, I beat myself up all weekend. So that was the that was the Metallica. The mistake was I, I just overslept. I just don't do that. And I missed it. And I beat myself up all weekend. And normally I'd come into Monday just still beating myself up, you know. But I'll tell you what, I started doing some research on our manifest and manifest Monday. And I was like, you know what? I'm not going to let that happen. So last night I just said, you know what? Positive thoughts, positive thoughts. I got in the car this morning. I played some, some motivational stuff on my first workout. I was at 6 a.m. I was rolling in there about 5.30. And so just, you know what? It's changed my whole perspective and I'm ready to roll with this manifest Monday. So this show's already already paying dividends for you in your life. <laughs> well, we're going to, the Nick Dar effect, I will call it. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, and you know, we've talked about what manifest of people that don't know. It's it's the act of bringing like tangible desires or goals into reality by putting intentional energy into what you want the goals in life. Now, I like to think I just remember, memorized that, but I have it written on a whiteboard. No, we had to look it up. We, at first, we thought manifest was like a festival with a bunch of guys. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder you were so excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's something different than that we found out. So yeah. So and you do this manifest by your thoughts, your accent, actions, your beliefs, your emotions. Like I could have rolled in today and just been like, you know what, I screwed up over the weekend. It's a tough weekend, but I'm just, you know, I'm gonna it's gonna affect me the rest of the week. But you know, I just changed my thought process. I started having good thoughts, started being grateful for the things I had, and you know what I'm saying, and just just kicked it aside and, and moved on. Well, it kind of segues into what I was going to talk about from the weekend. So Saturday we did the broadcast of the Roxana St. Joseph Ogden playoff football game, mm -hmm. great game, 48, 47 St. Joseph Ogden lost at the, on the, the last second play and Roxana with a huge win. And it, it just really struck me sitting up in the booth and seeing the two teams, one, absolutely you know elated celebrating going on to the next round and the other one just you know for a lot of the the seniors on the team the last game of their careers they're probably never played right. a football game again and i don't know what even made me say this but i just i was talking about it on the broadcast that you know you got one side the elation of victory and then on the other side just the devastation of losing such a tough game and you learn from both and that I don't know what made me think that or say that, but it's absolutely true. You talked about your mistake and how I'm the same way, like beating myself up over and beating my, I mean, how long do you let it last? Like it, it ends up, you know, the quicker you can recover from it, forgive yourself and move on, the better off you're going to be. I think this is also short memory Monday. So like, you know what, you just, you, you think about it, you, you, you realize how you're going to correct it in the future. And then you have a short memory. You just move on. It's also move on Monday. Move on Monday. So, so many imps. I, I, I have a book that I, I pick up and I read a lot. Uh, it's not really one you just sit and read all the way through because it's, it's, it's a pretty tough read, but it's very, it's a small book and it's called uh, As a Man Thinketh and it's by James Allen. And it just literally talks about 
what you think of, how your thoughts are in your head is what's going to happen. If you think positive thoughts, you think happy thoughts, then good things are going to happen. It's like the law of attraction. You know what I'm saying? What you focus on in your mind is what will happen. If you, fo if you focus on bad things, you're going to attract bad things. Absolutely. And I, I think, um, you know, you, you think about things that you're, you're um, nervous about or scared about, and then it's usually not nearly as bad as you <laughs> it's never is. Uh, no, so those types of things. And then um, just like we said, moving on from mistakes and, and, and trying to put a positive on it. There's, there's always a positive and negative at it. Really every situation. There, there really is. And we, we, a lot of times we, we tend, like you said, focus on the bad and we need to, you know, move on from it. And I, I'm going I'm to read a quick quote from that book. Cause I'm really trying to sound smart this morning. Okay, so well, I love this quote. Man is, man, <laughs> I, man is made or unmade by himself in the armory of a thought. He forges the weapons by which he destroys himself. He also fashions the tools which, which he builds for himself. So you're, it's, it's, it's thinking of your thoughts as weapons. And if you're trying to build yourself up, you know what I'm saying? You're, it, the, the, your weapons are good thoughts. You can also destroy yourself with those things if they're bad thoughts. Well, and I think for the manifest for this show too, you know, social media, it, it's very, uh, it's an interesting place to be. And this show's not all about social media, of course, but um, a lot of times people only post like the positive things that are going on in their life, like my kid made the honor roll or this, that, all these great things are happening. And, and as you're watching these things, you're thinking, well, my life's in shambles. <laughs> <laughs> right. It, it, it's it's got to be tough for kids growing up seeing that too. Absolutely. But we want to show kind of the struggles and the successes on this show because we both, we all have them. Like no matter who you are, there are struggles, there are successes. Um, and I think that's kind of the manifest for the show. How can you, how can we help each other grow? How can we help the audience grow from, you know, talking about and showcasing some of those struggles and then some of the successes as well? Yeah. And speaking of social media, I took a real beating for missing that workout. <laughs> and well, rightfully so I, I deserve that beating. <laughs> social media giveth and social media taketh away. Cause you <laughs> it really can. So um, I'm excited to keep going. This was, yeah. I think this was a great show. We're at seven and a half minutes. We went over soon. We're going to soon. We're going to incorporate punishments for going over. Correct. That's right. But, you know, seven, eight minutes. That's not bad. I think we should end it right here. What do you think? I, I, I think so. Also, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to end it with another quote. Cause I just, it seems like it's uh, a man is literally what his, he thinks his character being the complete sum of all his thoughts. That's a good place to end. We'll talk tomorrow. All right, brother. See you. Cause yeah. it's a daily show. It is gonna, people are going to see us every day. Except Saturday and Sunday. Cause well, uh, <laughs> I'd probably, I'd probably miss that anyway. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, tomorrow. All right. Thanks, brother. Thanks.